The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Hello friends, I'm teacher Jennifer and I'm so happy to see you today. Today is Sunday and on Sunday I love to go to church with my family and friends. Would you like to join me today? Great, I'm so happy. Remember we've been learning all about God's creation. He created those, this beautiful world and do you remember some of the things we learned about that he made? Mm -hmm. Yes, we learned that he created the sun and the moon and the stars. He created day and night. Yes, and the trees and the flowers. He created the birds and the sea animals. Hmm, I wonder what else he created. Do you have any good ideas? Oh, that's a great idea. Mm-hmm, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's get our Bible Clue box out. That's a good idea, too. Are you ready to sing the song with me? Hey, you, what should we do? Let's take a look at our Bible Clue. Hey, you, what should we do? Let's take a look at our Bible Clue. What do you think is in the Bible Clue box today? Oh, I hope that's what it is. Let's see. What else? What else do you think could be in this box? Mmm, okay, are you ready? I love the Bible clues. Let's see. Aw, I know who this is. This is my friend Merlin. And he's actually the pet of some of, some of my really good friends. He is a doggy. That's right. Hmm, okay, so this little puppy Merlin is our Bible clue today. Oh, look, there's a scripture. Let's see what it says. It says, Genesis 1, 24 through 25. Okay, let's see. Let's get our Bible out. That's right, because we can find all the answers that God has for us in the Bible. Will you sing the Bible song with me? The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. Okay, Genesis 1, 24 through 25. And God said, let the land produce living creatures according to their kinds, the livestock, the creatures that move along the ground, and the wild animals. And it was so, God made the animals, and God saw that it was good. So God made animals, like Merlin here. Hmm, it says he made wild, wild animals and livestock. Oh, look what I have here, look what I found. I found a little barn and you can find barns on farms. And look who is in our barn. <gasps> yes, there's some animals that you would find on a farm. Let's see, let's count them. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's get one out. Let's get one out. What is this? That's all right, it's a cow. I'm gonna sing a little song and you can sing it with me, okay? God made the cow, God made the cow. Wait, what sound does a cow make? Oh, that's right, moo. Moo, 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 moo. God made the cow. Okay, thank you for reminding me what sound a cow makes. What did we have over here? Oh, look. We have a horse. What sound does a horse make? Okay, will you sing it with me? God made the horse. God made the horse. Nay, 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 nay. God made the horse. Nay. 
Right on. Okay. Let's see. Who else do we have here? Oh, we have a little sheep. Here's our little sheep. What sound does a sheep make? Bah. That's right. Will you sing it with me? God made the sheep. God made the sheep. Ba 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 ba. God made the sheep. Ba. Right. Okay. Let's put our little sheep back. Oh, what other animal might you find on a farm? A little pig. What sound does a pig make? Oink oink oink. That's right. God made the pig. God made the pig. Oink, 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 oink. God made the pig. Or he can go. <laughs> what? Oh, you know what? You might find, sometimes you'll find a little mouse on the farm. What sound does a mouse make? Squeak? Maybe squeak, squeak? Will you sing it with me? God made the mouse. God made the mouse. Squeak, 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 squeak. God made the mouse. Okay, let's put them back in the barn. Now you'll also find that God made animals that we can also have as pets. And sometimes these pets will live on the barn and sometimes our pets will find them right in our house. Do you have a pet? Oh, what's your pet's name? No. Oh, yeah, and, and you don't have a pet? Yeah, what kind of pet would you have if you had a pet? What kind of pet do you want? Mm, I don't have a pet either. I don't. But I do know that some people have dogs and some people have cats. And maybe someone even has a little goldfish as a pet. We can sing our song about these animals too. Will you join me? Okay, what sound does a doggy make? Okay, ready? God made the dog. God made the dog. Bow, wow, 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 wow. God made the dog. Or woof, woof, right? What about, oh. What about our kitty cat here? What sounds the cat make? Meow, that's right. Will you sing it with me? Here we go. God made the cat. God made the cat. Meow, 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 meow. God made the cat. Oh, and what, what about a little pet goldfish? What sound does a fish make? Hmm. God made the goldfish. God made the goldfish. What about? Kissy, 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 kissy. God made the goldfish. <laughs> well, God made all kinds of animals. Some you'll find on a farm. Some you'll find at home as pets. And would you like to join me for art time? Okay, great. Let's go. Moo. It's just me. I had so much fun learning all about the different animals that God has created. I thought we'd make this little cow. Would you like to join me? Okay, let's get started. You're going to want a paper plate. It's okay if you don't have a paper plate. You can use a white piece of paper and make a big circle and cut it out. And what I'm using, I'm gonna give my cow spots and I'm using black paint. But remember, you can use other things too. You can use markers, crayons. You can cut out construction paper. You can do it any way you want. Get really creative. So there, there are my spots. And now I'm going to give my cow some blue eyes. One there. And one right here. I'm gonna give him a nose and a mouth and I'm gonna use my black marker to give him little nostrils. And a smile, cause I have a really happy cow. 
you can find cows on a farm. Now, I like to have my cow's nose kind of pop out a little bit. So I took a little piece of paper and folded it. And I'm going to glue some right here. And then I'm going to glue some on his nose right here. And just kind of press like that. There he is so far. To give him ears, I just cut out black triangles and pink triangles and glued them on each other. Cows are a great food source. They provide milk for us and we use this milk to drink. And of course, this milk also helps to make certain cheeses and yogurt. Yummy. Moo. Oh, he needs legs. I just took out, cut out two pieces of paper and then made little triangles in there. And I'm going to glue them on my paper plate cow. What would you name this cow? What should we name our cow? There she is. Moo, 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 says the cow. If you want to make a pig, we're going to take a piece of pink construction paper. And I'm going to show you one of my tricks. If I want my circle to be a certain shape, I find something round that I can trace. And I press down and I take my marker and my crayon and I make a circle. Oops. And I go around and around like that. And there's my circle and I'm gonna cut it out and this is gonna be the pig's body. nice and round. There's his body. We can find pigs on farms too, can't we? And did you know pigs will give him little eyes. Their eyesight is not too great, but their sense of smell is really wonderful. They have these wonderful noses called snouts and they use them to root around and sniff out food. They have wonderful snouts. So we're gonna put our nice big snout on our pig like this. And what else does he need? He needs his little ears. So I'm gonna take a piece of paper and I'm just gonna make little triangles. And I'm gonna fold it over. And this way I can make two triangles at the same time. These are going to be his little ears. I'm going to glue it right here behind him. You know, pigs love to roll around in the mud. It's not because they're dirty. They're actually clean animals. They just use the mud to cool off because pigs are really smart animals. Oh, we can give him little legs. Just cut out. Oh, we can fold it over again if you want. Fold your piece of paper and cut and flip them over and just use your glue. You can use glue stick or you can use wet glue and you can give him little legs. And if you want to give him a little tail, you get his little pipe cleaner and twirl it around your finger like this. And probably going to have to tape it. Let's try it. I haven't tried this one yet. Let's tape it down. Oh, cute. Look at that. I gave him a little curly tail in the back. Here's our little pig. So far we've made a cow and a pig. These are animals that God has made and they're so wonderful and so useful for us. I know, why don't we make a little sheep? And I'm gonna take a colored piece of paper and white paint and I'm going to use my paintbrush but instead of like going like this back and forth stroking it I'm going to dot it like this and just kind of make a circle it's going to 
gonna be a sheep and this is gonna be his woolly coat. And you know how uh, sheep are so helpful? One of the ways they're helpful to us, we use this wool to make blankets and sweaters and all types of clothes to keep us warm. The next thing you wanna do is you're gonna cut out an oval with your black piece of paper and your safety scissors. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of wet glue and this is gonna be his face, okay? It's gonna be his little face like that. And I'm gonna use googly eyes to, this time. So cute. Do you remember what sheep say? That, that's right. If you wanna give him legs, you just take some paper and fold it over. And you can use your white crayon if you like and make a nice big leg for him and cut it out. I find with black construction paper, it's nice to use a white crayon because then you can see what you, what you need to cut out. There we go. And we're just gonna glue his little legs on. I feel like he's missing something though. What is he missing? Hmm. Oh, that's right, he needs ears. So I'm just gonna make him some little ears. And I'm gonna glue his ears on like so. There he is. He's so cute. And if you want, you can give him a little bow. I, I made a little bow with a ribbon and I'm just gonna dip it in the glue a little bit there. And there's your little sheep. Bah! So we've made a cow, a pig, and a sheep. Let's see. Oh, I know we didn't talk about our pets. Remember we said some animals are, you can find on a farm and some are pets. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little dog and cat puppet and you're gonna have to take an envelope, seal it shut and cut it in half. And I'm gonna do my dog first and I'm gonna give him ears. I'm just using a brown paper bag, parts of a brown paper bag that I had left over. And I'm giving him cute two little ears. One there. One there. And I'm gonna take my marker and give him a face. I'll give him some eyebrows and some big puppy eyes. Maybe I'll give him, let me get my crayons out here. Maybe I'll give him a, a cute little nose. Let's give him a little red nose. And dogs have their tongues out a lot, so we'll put his tongue right there. And I'll give him some spots. There's my doggy puppet. And now let's do our cat puppet. For my cat, I'm gonna give my cat some nice big black ears. There's, oh, sorry, you can't see. There's one, there's two, and I'll put some pink in the middle. And maybe I'll give my cat some eyebrows too. And this time I'm gonna give my cat some googly eyes. Green, pretty green googly eyes. And a little nose. And what else? Oh, cats have whiskers, don't they? 
There we go. So you have a cat puppet and you have a dog puppet. Meow, meow, woof, woof. So much fun. Well, friends, I had so much fun with you today learning about all the different animals God has made and doing all the different crafts. Remember, God loves you. I love you. And I'll see you soon. Bye.